Hola and welcome to Pro Spanish. In a second, you're going to experience for yourself just how quickly and easily you can become conversational in Spanish. And more advanced subscribers may wish to skip forward to the time frame that comes up on the screen now or stick with us for the extra practice. We're going to start straight away with one of our listening pyramids. We're just going to do this to kind of lay a bit of a, a foundation. So we're going to listen at the top here. Deberíamos. 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 So deberíamos. Deberíamos. And that means we should. Deberíamos. We should. Now there's no reason for you to know any of this vocabulary. You don't need to at this stage. We're just presenting some. So we should. Now we're going to... This second line here is going to build on we should. Let's have a listen. Deberíamos comprar algo. Deberíamos comprar algo. Deberíamos comprar algo. So, deberíamos comprar algo. Deberíamos comprar algo. And that means we should buy something. So, deberíamos, we should, and then comprar algo, buy something. We should buy something. Let's go down to the next one. So, we're going to build on this. Deberíamos comprar algo sencillo. Deberíamos comprar algo sencillo. Deberíamos comprar algo sencillo. Okay, so deberíamos comprar algo sencillo o sencillo. Those are two different pronunciations. So sencillo, pronouncing the C like a TH, is in Spain and in Latin America. The C is pronounced like a s sencillo. So, we should buy something. We should buy something simple. Deberíamos comprar algo sencillo. Okay, and we can hide these. And we can go down testing ourselves. But we'll do that uh, a little bit later in the lesson with um, some different pyramids. A little reminder for the all-in-one pro-Spanish course, there are over 600 of these and if you get the topic course as well then you've got 900 of these pyramids. Here we've only got three levels, uh, many of them have got five or six and it's obviously a great way to build up your your listening, kind of train your ear but also for your fluency skills. Okay and let's move on to the vocabulary that we need now for our 300 phrases. We're going to start off with some verb phrases. So, to get something, to get is conseguir. So, conseguir, to get. And to get something, conseguir algo. Conseguir algo. Now, I don't think you have to memorize all this as we go. Just follow the flow of the lesson. Conseguir algo, to get something. Next, to order something. It means to order, but also to ask for. And that's pedir. Pedir is to order or to ask for. Pedir algo, to order something. Next, it's as a pair, because often it's easier to learn some words in pairs. Comer, beber, to eat, to drink. So, to eat and to drink, comer, beber. And as previously, we're using something, algo, to eat or drink something. Comer algo, to eat something. Beber algo, to drink something. To do is hacer, to do, hacer, to do something. Hacer algo. Hacer algo. To buy something. Comprar algo. So, comprar is to buy. Encontrar is a little bit like to encounter, to find. So, encontrar, to find. Encontrar algo, to find something. 
alquilar is to rent or to hire. For example, alquilar una bicicleta, to hire or to rent a bike. Alquilar algo, to rent something. And let's have a look at the next column and then we'll start putting together what we've got. Típico. Típico is typical, typical, but very often it's used as something traditional. So, for example, it's a traditional food, típico. We, we might say a typical food, but we're more likely to say a traditional or local food, something typical to the area. So, típico, typical or traditional, if we're looking at customs, for example, local customs. New is nuevo, nuevo. And let's just look at those two that we've got so far and the previous column. How would you say to order something traditional? So to order something local, traditional, what would that be? Pedir algo típico. Pedir algo típico. To order something traditional. How about to do something new? What would that be? To do something new. Hacer algo nuevo. Hacer algo nuevo. Notice the V in the word nuevo is pronounced like the letter B. Nuevo. So, hacer algo nuevo to do something new. Okay, let's carry on down. Frío. Frío is cold. Frío. Cheap. Barato. Barato. Let's have a look at those two. So, it might be a very hot day and you want to drink something cold. What would that be? To drink something cold. Beber algo frío. Beber algo frío. Or as before, order something. You might want to order something cold in the bar. Pedir algo frío. How about to find something cheap? What would that be? To find something cheap. Encontrar algo barato. Encontrar algo barato. Okay, let's go on to the next one. Simple. Something simple. Sencillo. Sencillo. Simple. Sencillo. Interesting is nice and easy. Interesante. Interesante. Diferente is different. Again, nice and easy. Diferente. Going back to sencillo, simple. What would it mean to say conseguir algo sencillo? Conseguir algo sencillo. To get something simple. To get something simple. What would it mean if I said Alquilar algo barato. Alquilar algo barato. To rent something cheap. How about to buy something different? How would you say that? To buy something different. Comprar algo Diferente. Comprar algo diferente. Okay, let's look at the first column. Now, if you just scan down, you can just see that 
all of these are we. We. And if you look at the end of all the verbs, you can see they end in mos. So all we verbs end in mos. We want queremos. Queremos. We want queremos. We can podemos. Podemos. We can. We have just, this is a very useful little phrase, can talk about the past with this. Acabamos de. Acabamos de. We have just. We have to. Tenemos que. So we have is tenemos. But if we want to say we have to, as in we must, we say tenemos que. We have to. We should. Deberíamos. Deberíamos. We should. Let's have a look at those few that we've done just then. How would we say we can order something traditional? What would that be? We can order something traditional, order something local. Podemos pedir algo típico. Podemos pedir algo típico. What would it mean if I said queremos hacer algo interesante? Queremos hacer algo interesante. What would that mean? We want to do something different. We want to do something different. How about when with we have to? What would it mean if I said Tenemos que encontrar algo barato. Tenemos que encontrar algo barato. What does that mean? We have to find something cheap. And we'll just take a quick pause there while I mention our very popular Levels 1 to 6 course. This takes the complete beginner or a near beginner right up to a conversational level of Spanish in a series of very easy to follow steps. All the lessons on this YouTube channel are supplementary, whereas the core Levels 1 to 6 is very much a step-by-step -step program delivered by the same teacher as all the other videos on the Pro Spanish YouTube channel. And while the style is very similar to what you'll be used to from these videos on the channel, the key difference is that every lesson carefully builds on the previous lessons so that you can really feel that progress of going from very little or no Spanish up to a level where you can confidently hold a conversation in Spanish. So again, that's available exclusively from prospanish.co.uk. Okay, let's go on to, we're going to, vamos a. So we can talk about the future now. We're going to. Vamos a. How would you say? We're going to rent something new. Vamos a alquilar algo nuevo. Vamos a alquilar algo nuevo. What would it mean if I said Vamos a hacer algo sencillo. Vamos a hacer algo sencillo. We're going to do something simple. And the final one I've set as a question with the upside down question mark at the beginning. Es posible. Is it possible? For example, ¿Es posible hacer algo barato? Is it possible to do something cheap? 
But we could just say it not as a question, and it would be exactly the same. Slight different intonation. Es posible alquilar algo típico. It's possible to rent something traditional. Okay, have a listen and see if you can understand the sentences being said. Look across the table to work it out. What does this mean? Queremos hacer algo diferente. Queremos hacer algo diferente. We want to do something different. How about Deberíamos comer algo típico. Deberíamos comer algo típico. We should eat something traditional. How about Vamos a pedir algo frío. Vamos a pedir algo frío. We're going to order something cold. What does this mean? Acabamos de hacer algo nuevo. Acabamos de hacer algo nuevo. We've just done something new. And of course, if you look at what's literally there, it's we have just to do something new. So in Spanish, after we have just, we have the full verb, the infinitive, to do. Uh, in English, we would say done. We have just done. But it's easier in Spanish because you just have the full verb. What does it mean if I say Acabamos de pedir algo diferente. Acabamos de pedir algo diferente. We have just ordered something different. What does this mean? Es posible Conseguir algo barato? ¿Es posible conseguir algo barato? Is it possible to get something cheap? The great thing about this is that it's so easy to add and to substitute new vocabulary so that you just keep expanding out from this becoming more and more conversational. So, for example, let's just say the word más. Más, more. Más is more. What would it mean if I said más interesante? Más interesante. What's that? More interesting. What about más frío? Más frío. More cold. Now, we would say colder. Más barato, cheaper. Más nuevo, newer. We could put that together. Deberíamos comprar algo más barato. Deberíamos comprar algo más barato. We should buy something cheaper. We should buy something cheaper. How about... ¿Es posible pedir algo más sencillo? ¿Es posible pedir algo más sencillo? Is it possible to order something simpler? How would you say more traditional, more typical? What would that be? 
más típico. Más típico. How would you say to do something more traditional? Hacer algo más típico. Hacer algo más típico. How would you say we can do something more traditional? Podemos hacer algo más típico. Podemos hacer algo más típico. Okay, let's go back to our pyramids now for some fluency practice. Okay, we'll just focus on listening to start with. So we'll start at the top and work our way down. Queremos. 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 And queremos means we want. Queremos. Queremos conseguir algo. Queremos conseguir algo. Queremos conseguir algo. So building on queremos, we want, and it is... Queremos conseguir algo. Queremos conseguir algo, which means we want to get something. On that. Queremos conseguir algo típico. Queremos conseguir algo típico. Queremos conseguir algo típico. Queremos conseguir algo típico. And that meant, so click on show again. We want to get something traditional. Queremos conseguir algo típico. Okay, let's try another one. Let's start at the top. Deberíamos. 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 So, deberíamos meant we should. Deberíamos. We should. Deberíamos encontrar algo. Deberíamos encontrar algo. Deberíamos encontrar algo. Deberíamos encontrar algo. We should find something. Let's build on that. Deberíamos encontrar algo nuevo. Deberíamos encontrar algo nuevo. Deberíamos encontrar algo nuevo. Deberíamos encontrar algo nuevo. We can listen again to that. Deberíamos encontrar algo nuevo. We should find something new. Deberíamos, we should, find something, encontrar algo new, nuevo. Okay, let's try that with the speaking. So we just click on the microphone. Deberíamos. Well done. And down to the next one. Deberíamos encontrar algo. And the final one. Deberíamos encontrar algo nuevo. Okay, let's try a new pyramid and we'll just do the speaking with this one. Vamos a. Okay, so we're going to vamos a. We're going to build on that. Vamos a hacer algo. So we're going to do something. Vamos a hacer algo nuevo. So, as you can see, this is a very fast way to conversational Spanish. Just before we go on to the more advanced part of this lesson, another reminder that the full Levels 1 to 6 course is available exclusively from prospanish.co.uk. And in this more advanced part, we are going to keep the final column pretty much the same. Uh, we've got grande at the end there for big. Uh, but the most of it is the same, so típico, traditional, nuevo, new, etc. And our first column is queremos que, we want that, queremos que, we want that. 
Esperamos que. We hope that. We hope that. Esperamos que. We hope that. Te sugerimos que. We suggest that. And in Spanish, when it's to do with saying something to somebody, that might be giving advice, recommending, or suggesting, we add the person. So we suggest that you, we suggest to you that te sugerimos. In English, we can just say, we suggest that. And we can see this again with te recomendamos que. We recommend that you or we recommend to you that. In English, we could just say, we recommend that. But in Spanish, we want the person in there. So, te recomendamos que. And the next column needs to be subjunctive. Because queremos que, we want that. Esperamos que, we hope that. Te sugerimos que, we suggest to you that. And te recomendamos que, we recommend you that. These are all expressions of wanting somebody to do something. So you want them to, or you hope that they do it, or you recommend that they do it, or you suggest that they do it. You're wanting somebody to do something. And the subjunctive column then is consigas algo, you get something. Pidas algo, you order something. Comas algo, bebas algo, you eat something, you drink something. Hagas algo, you do something. Compres algo. You buy something, encuentres algo, you find something, and alquiles algo, you hire or rent something. So, queremos que pidas algo nuevo. We want that you order something new. And of course, in English, we would say, we want you to. So whenever you're trying to translate, I want you to, we want you to, it'll be, I want that you, and that you will be in subjunctive. We want that you do X, Y, Z. So queremos que pidas algo nuevo. We want you to order something new. Esperamos que hagas algo interesante. So this follows a bit more the logic of the structure of English. We hope that you do something interesting. Esperamos que hagas algo interesante. We hope that you do something interesting. We suggest that you get something traditional. Te sugerimos que consigas algo típico. So that works out more like, we suggest to you that you do this. We suggest you get something traditional. But as I said, those verbs that have something to do with telling somebody something in terms of suggesting, recommending, saying, ordering somebody to do something. They have the personal pronoun. And the same then with te recomendamos que alquiles algo grande. We recommend that you rent something large or big. We recommend to you to rent something big. Okay, so just listen and work out what's being said. Te sugerimos 
que bebas algo frío. Te sugerimos que bebas algo frío. We suggest you drink something cold. Esperamos que alquiles algo barato. Esperamos que alquiles algo barato. We hope you rent something cheap. Queremos que encuentres algo sencillo. Queremos que encuentres algo sencillo. We want you to find something simple, something basic. Te recomendamos que hagas algo diferente. Te recomendamos que hagas algo diferente. We recommend that you do something different. Okay, let's swap around now and you do the speaking. How would you say, we suggest you buy something simple, something basic. Te sugerimos que compres algo sencillo. Te sugerimos que compres algo sencillo. We want you to order something traditional. Queremos que pidas algo típico. Queremos que pidas algo típico. We hope you do something new. Esperamos que hagas algo nuevo. Esperamos que hagas algo nuevo. And of course we can change the we to I. So how would we say, I want you to do something different. Quiero que hagas algo diferente. Quiero que hagas algo diferente. I hope you rent something cheap. Espero que alquiles algo barato. I recommend that you get something new. Te recomiendo que consigas algo nuevo. Te recomiendo que consigas algo nuevo. And that concludes today's Pro Spanish lesson. As mentioned earlier, if you're looking to become a confident and a confident speaker of Spanish, then head over to prospanish.co.uk where you can download the full Levels 1 to 6 course.